Welcome again to the Silverhawk Medicine Lodge and the Revelation Book 2, The Rest of the Prophecy and the Magical Mystery Tour and our discourse today on sexual power and the life force such vital knowledge for the coming new world and the life force is sex force First of all, the gourd of fire at the base of our spine is where the kundalini rises from. It is known as the gourd of fire. And from here the life force travels up our spine and all the way over the top of our heads to our third eye and circulates down through our beams through our switchboard, through the spinal column. We can invoke and activate this life force in various ways. One way is through Kundalini Yoga or Kriya Yoga as taught by Paramahansa Yogananda from India, which is a Raja Yoga that brings the Kundalini up the spine, the life force, and promotes a more rapid evolution of our being and a quickening of our spiritual being. And another method is also known as Tantra sex, whereby a couple will generate their sexual power and life force together, but will refrain from climax in order to send the life force through their beings and bodies for this quickening and ascension and evolution. It's a very ancient practice and available to anyone to practice. And so much is misunderstood about the sex power and it has been sadly in ignorance with too much of the world there seems to be two extremes to the address to it that prevalent through the planet. One is the extreme of suppression and whereby a great deal of guilt and shame is attached to it, like it's something unholy or animalistic and nothing could be further from the truth. Or the other extreme is that it is degraded to the point of simply a carnal act and has no love in it and becomes a hedonism. And neither, neither extreme are correct. The life sex force is divine. It is the very power that generates the stars themselves when Father, Mother, God and their male, female principalities come together they shine so bright the stars are born and all the children of the planets and life forms generated from that and are all governed by it through the whole creation this is a holy force this is the essence of their being in us. When we come together in that union with the I am love and consciousness, we can shine like a, the sun as well. And our love and passion raise our vibration to new heights and promote our own evolution with great magnificence. In the ideal relationship between two people, you have both parties who embrace the stillness and their I am higher self and have this fellowship between them. And then when they come together as a couple, this love is going to be infused in their relationship and Here's the perfect opportunity to embrace the love alchemy and the sexual life force in unity. 
And in this transcendent consciousness and love, you have a chance to experience the real miracle where you have a, an auric blend of the two people and they become a oneness. And it can even be so transcendent that each of you experiences being both, both beings together. And this is the ultimate fulfillment that is possible between two people. And the fulfillment and passion that comes from this is beyond what most anybody's ever experienced. You re read stories and see films of wondrous lovers that have achieved this unity and this passion. Well, that's in the ballpark, but it is going to go beyond that. In the new drift world, where everyone achieves the ultimate glorification, this uh, unity will be common. And mostly, you'll be seeing twin flames come together, very much like Jesus and Mary Magdalene were twin flames, and their love and passion was so profound. This will be common in the new world as well. Now there has been a great deal of effort on the behalf, on the behalf of the adversary, trying to interfere with this magical unity between us, particularly suppressing the divine feminine and subjugating it and creating a false rift between men and women and thereby barring the way for this magical unity to occur where we could ascend together out of the illusion of duality and out of the illusion of the third dimension. So a great deal of effort was always promoted through the church and various other ways to drive divisions between men and women and keep us in ignorance and thereby subject to their mechanizations of control. So I spoke earlier of the divine feminine rising and coming back into balance being necessary for the golden age. Well, this is absolutely true. There has to be a balance. In the Father, Mother, God energies, they have the balance and perfection when they make the stars and planets and children. It is in perfect balance. And they demonstrate this for us every day in every way. And this is what we seek as human beings to find again this unity and this love and this alchemy of transcendence. This is what will be attained in the golden age, drift world, the return to Eden. How would it be Eden if it did not have this as one of its primary features where we experience the ultimate fulfillment together and as individuals in a planet of glorious perfection. This is what I portray in the tour of the Drifter world and introduce you to the gods and goddesses and their love and passion together. And they raise their children in this knowledge. And there are no more misconceptions or mechanizations of deception uh, going on about it. We step back into our innocence of love and passion and joy and fulfillment and own it once again without restraint, without guilt, without shame, and without reservation. And here you have the recipe 
for a golden age indeed. So in truth the sex force is life force and life force is love force. It is the supreme Amun Ra, the divine radiant affinity between life and between people and is how we were meant to be. In the Edenian world people know each other in this love and as a family and as a unity there was such beautiful fulfillment and beautiful unity going on between us and each other and between Father Mother God and a great love and tenderness and cherishment of nature and all of the beings of nature were treated as our relations which they are everything in this universe is a relation all forms of life all stars and planets and galaxies and all of their infinite varieties of being are all relations we all have the same parentage this supreme source field I am father mother God the very king and queen of the universe and their love and passion knows no bounds and we as their princely sons and princess daughters are heir to that very experience ourselves and this has been so attacked by the adversaries of life and they have sought to interfere with this and beguile us into all manner of other addresses to it but all this is going away in the new dawn and we will see the light together again and the simple way it was meant to be and re-embrace the true being that we really are once again as a godly child of the supreme life and the supreme passion and we will know fulfillment beyond anything we've ever experienced before in the new world waits our love our creative power our eagerness to steward and to assist in evolution and we will take all of our love and passion with us throughout the stars and we will know no bounds ever again this is what we are evolving into now this is where we are headed as sure as the sun rises for the long dark night is ending and all the lies and subterfuge with it the truth will make us free the truth will keep us free and never again will we fall into ignorance and darkness and beguilement for we have learned the lessons well we have seen every tactic of the adversary and overcome them all and never again will they rise before us but we have mastered our lives in spite of it so until tomorrow I wish you the very finest meditation on this subject and in anything else you venture into so I wish you the Amun Ra Namaste Carpe Diem Seize the Day Vyakundias Go with God May all your good dreams come true.